Hi everyone, thanks again for stopping by my channel. Today's recipe is going to be a super, super easy, best ever healthy oatmeal chocolate chip cookies using wholesome ingredients and also easy to find ingredients. So I've got nine bananas here that are very spotty because that way they'll be very sweet and I don't have to add any other sweetener to my cookies. And then I've got just organic oats, just the regular oats. They're not quick oats or anything. I also have hemp hearts and flax that I will be adding as well. Uh, the hemp hearts, I add a little bit because it kind of adds that nutty flavor without adding nuts to the cookies. And flax will help bind it and then you've got your, all your omegas in it. So I always make sure that there's a lot of flax in it. So this is my ground up oats. I use this as a flour. So in these cookies, I'm gonna be using some ground oats and some of the regular oats just for some texture. So if you want to make flour at home, just pop the oats into your blender and you know don't process it too long because then it will get um, too hot and get sticky, but just enough so that it's pretty ground up and there's your flour. I have a Vitamix so it really takes me seconds, but if you have a lower powered um, blender, you can still do it. Just be careful, do with smaller batches. So this is what my oat flour looks like after I've put it in the Vitamix. And then I just mashed the nine bananas and I added the vanilla extract and then I'm gonna put the flax eggs into the mixture and give it a mix. I will have the in the description box below, I will have the recipe that I use to make my flax eggs. Very, very simple, it's just flax and water. So I like using a fork when I mix the flax in. I feel like it combines it better, but you do whatever you like to do. I'm just adding in the oats right now and giving that a quick little mix. So now you're gonna add in the oat flour and I just do it in two batches. So I add in half, give it a little mix, and then add in the second portion and combine it well. So I like adding in the hemp as well because it gives it kind of a nutty taste and flavor without adding actual nuts to the cookies. And then I'm using vegan chocolate chips. You can use whatever you want. You can use carob chips. Um, it really doesn't matter. Whatever you prefer and whatever you have on hand. I usually have um, vegan chocolate chips so I decided to add them in. If you wanted to add like raisins or cranberries instead of the chocolate chips, I think it would work really well. So I'm using a spoon just to flatten them out. I did make really big cookies. Um, mine took 18 minutes at 350 to cook, but if your cookies are smaller, then be mindful of that and cook them for less time. So these cookies I actually eat for breakfast sometimes, um, I don't always add in the chocolate chips, sometimes I just leave that out. I feel like they are just super tasty and super filling and I like bringing them to work with me. Um, the kids like snacking on them you know, later at night, it's a, kind of a healthier alternative, I mean you don't want to have fruit at night but if you are going to have a snack, I think that these cookies would probably be a good alternative to something else. So they store really well in an airtight container. I usually just keep them out, but I guess if you can't get through them that quickly, then just keep them in the fridge and just take out a few, I guess, um, whatever you think you're gonna have for the day. And that's pretty much it. They are just very, very easy. I just cooled them on a cooling rack, as you can see, but you don't even have to do that. Just leave them on the pan if you want to and they will be fine and then once they've cooled completely then you can put them in your airtight container. That's it, that's the super simple best ever cookies and I hope you enjoy the recipe. Thanks so much for watching guys and if you haven't already please subscribe to the channel that way you don't miss any upcoming videos.